Yo, 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 this is Mr. O. Yo, yo, this is Mr. O, and today we're going to learn about logarithm, okay? I haven't checked that out. Maybe I'll give you a try. Yeah, sorry, I'm making that up. For example, page 6 and 7. I don't need any notebooks for that. Don't scare me, okay? I'm going to make something like this. 7. Oh, the verifying? Just simplify. Well, you can simplify it by verifying. You know what I mean? I can give you more practice when That's okay. you come back like last four, like five minutes of this block the other day. Yeah, sure. Right. Sorry. Come back. Thank you. Come back. <laughs> oh. Yo, 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 this is Mr. O, and today we're going to learn about logarithm. What is logarithm? Logarithm, or we call it log, is another way of writing exponent. Meaning, if I have 2 to the third is equal to 8, right? Because 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8, we can uh, write it in a log form. Meaning, say, log form is log of the base 2, the answer is 8, what would be the exponent? The answer is 3. So again, the logic, the meaning behind this is that if your base is 2 and the answer is 8, what could have been the exponent of the base 2? The answer is 3. That's the idea of logarithm. Okay? So... Uh, the logarithmic form, this represents as the base, this is the answer, that's the exponent, okay? So, we write it as the base here is B, the exponent is X, is equal to A. We read this logarithmic form as log of base B of A equals X, okay? Sometimes, where I came from, uh, we read it the other way around. We read it as log of A with or of the base B is equal to X. It doesn't matter for me. As long as you mention the word base, you identify what's the log number and which is the base. Okay. <clears throat> so let's convert exponential to log form. Uh, we convert, I mean, lo uh, log form to exponential. So how do we do it? Write each equation in exponential form. What is the base in number one? The base in number one is three. The exponent is two is equal to nine. And that is the exponential form of the given log. Okay. Next, what is the base in number two? The base here is 
6. The exponent is 3 is equal to 216. Number 3. The base here is 7. What is the exponent? The exponent is 0. The answer is equal to 1. Okay? All right? Thanks. On the side of your paper, I'd like you to try this on your own extra. Uh, log of a, uh, base a, uh, k is equal to 7. I want you to write that exponential form. And log, uh, let's put the number here, 8 is equal to 2k. I want you, these two problems here, write on the side of your paper and write the exponential form. All right. If you already answered it, the answer here is a base a, the exponent 7 is equal to k. The exponent here is, the base here is 2, the exponent is 8 is equal to k. And that's the right answer. <clears throat> Let's convert now exponential to logarithmic form. It's their opposite. Okay? So again, uh, write the log. Which one here is the base? The base here is the 14. So I'm going to put 14 here as a subscript. And the answer is 196, but the exponent was 2. Again, the idea of log, if the base is 14 and the answer is 196, what could have been the exponent of the base 14? Next, number 8. Log, the base here is 3. The answer is 81. The exponent is 4. This 3 here, the 4 there, and the 81 here. Okay. Next, number 9. There are two 12s here. Take note. Log of the first 12, this 12 here, goes in the base. The answer is 12 is equal to 1. You agree with me that the base 12, the exponent of that one is 1 to get a 12. One more here. Number 11. Log. The base here is 2. The answer is 1, 8. The answer is negative 3. I'd like you to complete all the remaining problems that we did not cover, like 10 and 12, and pause it, and I'll give you the answer. All right, so this will give you log. The base here is 36. The answer is 6 is equal to 1 half. Here, log, the base is 8. The answer is 16 is equal to 4 thirds. And that's how you convert um, exponential to log form. Now, let's do the common log. Common log. A common logarithm with base of 10 is called common logarithm and can be written without the base. So if you see a base of 10, that means it's common log. Or if you don't see a base, that's called common log. Or it's invisible 10 of a base of 10. Okay? So if I have here log base of 10 is 7, that is same as writing it log of 7. The 10 here is invisible. You don't write it down. No need for you to write it down. So if you don't see a base on the log, that means it's automatically equal to 10. Um, evaluating logarithm. This is a um, no calculator. It's a more of like understanding it. Again, going back, uh, if we, when we have the 2 cubed equals 8, we know that the base of 2, the answer will get an 8 if the exponent was 3. So let's go here now. The base here is 7. How can you get a 49 from a 7? You can only get a 49 from 7 if the exponent is 2. So the answer for number 13 is 2. Number 14. How can you get a 27 from a base of 3? The base here is 3. The answer is 27. What could be the exponent of the base 3? The answer is 3. Because 3 times 3 times 3, the answer is 27. I want you to pause. Do number 15 and 16 on your own.
Okay, there you go. 15. The invisible base here is 10. How can you get a 10 from 100? If you multiply 10 twice or to itself, that is 10 squared is equal to 100. So the answer here is equal to 2. Number 16. Log of 1 to the base 12. The base is 12. The answer is 1. How can you get a 1 from a base of 12? If the exponent is equal to 0, right? So the answer right here is 0. I'd like you to complete 17, 18, 19, 20. Pause it and try it on your own. Okay, number 17. Log of 64 to the base 2. You can get uh, a 64 from a base 2 if you multiply it 6 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or 2 to the 6, the answer is 64. That's why the answer is 6. Log of 240 to the base of 3. You can get 243 if you multiply 3 how many times? 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is going to be, I believe, is 243, right? Three times three times three times three. Oh, times three. Uh, times three for the fifth one. So the answer here is five. Now, here are some challenges. If I have this one here, the base is nine. How can I get one over 81? This can be challenging, but familiarity, okay? Again, another strategy that I can share with you if I set this equal to x, can you convert this to exponential form? The exponential form of this, what's the base here? It's 9. The exponent is x. It's equal to 1 over 81. You know that 81 and 9, can you can make their base the same. The only problem is that the 81 is to the bottom. So we can write it as 9 to the x over 9 squared. We know that 9 squared is 81. 9 times 9 is 81. But I need to bring this up. If I bring it up, what do you think will happen? I think of 9 to the x equal to 9 to the negative 2. Remember, if we move it up, the sign changes. And this cancel out. So the value of x is equal to negative 2. So therefore, the answer here is equal to negative 2. So you can apply... The uh, solving exponential equation with the same base here in evaluating uh, logarith logarithmic expression. Okay, number twenty. This equal to x again. So sixty-four to the x is equal to four. The goal is to make the base the same. I know that sixty-four is four to the third x is equal to four. Because 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 for the third time is 64. We know that the invisible exponent of the 4 is 1. You have the same base cancel out, 3x equal to 1. So divide by 3, divide by 3 there. So therefore, x equal to 1 third. So the answer here is 1 third. And that's how you evaluate logarithm. Change of base. Some logarithms are not as easy to evaluate as those above and will require the change of base formula. And that's correct. Sometimes, like log of 2 to the 6, you cannot simplify and evaluate this one easily. If the base is 2, what could be the exponent of 2 to get 6? It's not 3 because if you said 3, that will become 8, right? It's not equal to 6. So there are items that you cannot really do it uh, manually. So you have to use the change of base formula. What is change of base? Change of base, if you have log of A to the base B, it can be written as log of A over log of B. You make it, both of them, in a common log because the base here is 10, the base here is 10. So here, number 21, log of 64 over log of 16. 
That's all you have to do there. If you're being asked to get the complete answer, you need to use your calculator. So I would like you to get your calculator and let's do number 21 here. As always, I'd like you to clear the memory. Second plus seven, one, two. Just to start fresh. Again, the problem was level 64, the base 16. Okay, so I'm going to go log. Log is right here beside 7. Log 64, close parenthesis, divide by log of 16. The answer is 1.5. Let's do number 23. Log of, change the base 54, divide by log of 2. So again, use your calculator. Log 54, close parenthesis, divide by log of 2. And that gives you 5.75. You can round up nearest tens or hundreds, okay? So I'll pick there 5.75. And one more here, log of 136 to the base 4 did the same as log of 136 divided by log of 4 here. Log of 136, close parenthesis divided by log of 4, close, enter, 3.54. There we go. That's how simple to do change of base. I'd like you to do 21, 24, 26, okay? Pause it. Okay, another way I can share you of doing this one here to check number 22. If you have a TI-84 Plus or something newer edition, you can do it this way. Watch here, guys. 22. So I'm going to clear the memory first. I'm going to clear that one, okay? Watch here. I'm going to hit alpha, window, and then go to number five, log of base. I want you to go here, log of base, enter. You can see that you can type in the problem already. A is a base, 32 is a log number, enter, and you can get the answer faster. Some calculators will not allow this, so it really hit or miss. Depends on the machine, the engine of your calculator. So at this point, I'd like you to uh, complete page seven and also page five of your complete page five and page five, six and seven of your packet okay once you're done make sure you complete the uh video notes okay and there you have it i hope you learned something you can if you don't understand this video and you need help you can come see me in the morning thursday for further help okay thank you so much bye